In this video, we're going to be talking about the E-Tech City Smart Nutrition Scale. We have our instruction booklet. We'll hold on to this. We have our warranty. And then we have the unit itself. Definitely a very nice looking unit, that's for sure. Before we begin, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadwayTraining.com, where we help busy professionals get more results in less time through online training. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics, along with the occasional product video, consider subscribing. Now, before we get into the review itself, I do want to let you know that eTech City did send me this unit for a review. With that out of the way, straight out of the box, you have your standard food scale functionality. So you have your on button and your tear button right here. And what that tear button will do is, let's say you're gonna put a bowl on the food scale and then you're gonna scoop some soup into that bowl. You don't wanna weigh the bowl itself, you just wanna weigh the contents of the bowl. So you put the bowl on there, you hit that little tear button, and then you would put your food inside the bowl. And then you have your unit button, it defaults to ounces, and then you have pounds, and then you have grams, and then you have milliliters, which is another cool function about these eTech City scales. You can actually measure liquid with these food scales. And you might think that you would typically just use your standard measuring cups for water, but there are specific instances where it would make it a little bit easier if you were using the food scale rather than using a measuring cup. So if you were doing something like a French press coffee, you could just put your French press on the food scale and then you could weigh out your coffee as well as pouring your water in there at the same time. Once you have the scale paired to your phone, then you can use the advanced features. So basically what this does is in the VSync app, it has its own nutrition tracker. So you can put your food log in this VSync app. So if I wanted to put a food item in here, what I would have to do is I would take that food item in which normally you wouldn't weigh a banana with the peel on, uh, but just for the sake of demonstration, because I'm not actually gonna eat this right now, I'll put that on there. And we'll pretend that without the peel, it weighs 6.2 ounces, which is what's showing on the scale right now. And so what we'll want to do is we'll go to breakfast, hit the plus button, we will search for banana. So we'll tap on that. And then it automatically will show on the screen how much it weighs. So you can see right here that it has 6.2 ounces on the screen. And then that's also what it's showing right here. So you can see it automatically gives a readout of the nutrition on the scale right here. So it has your calories listed, which does in fact match what is on the screen. And then we have our fat 0.5, which matches what's on the screen. So it shows all of the nutrition information right here on the scale. And then we can go ahead and pull up from the bottom if we want to see the detailed nutrition information, which is also what's showing right here on the scale. So you can see calories from fat, you can see your polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat. So it actually goes a little bit more in detail here than what's on the face of the scale right here. And then if we want to go ahead and hit OK, hit the check mark right there at the top, and that will add that food to the app. Now this is a full-fledged nutrition tracking app. So you can actually go in there and then you can hit the settings and then you can go to nutrition goals. So you can actually set your nutrition goals in here just like you would in my fitness pal. So you can tap on that. We will say, yes, I do want to set my nutrition goals. And then we're going to go with, for me, we're going to go with 3000 calories and then you can go with the preset options. So you have a high carb option, you have a moderate option, you have zone diet and low carb, you have keto, and then you can do customize if you wanna set your own specific target. So the cool thing about this app versus MyFitnessPal is you can actually set the custom goals without having to pay for a premium membership. One thing I'm noticing here is what you'll need to do is you'll want to decide on one of the outside goals first because as you do that slider it's going to change the protein in the middle so you'll just you'll need to decide how many carbs and fats you want first so that you can then set your protein so what i want to have is i want to have a moderate fat so i'm going to go 22 percent fat which is what it's defaulting to right here 
And then I want to go with 210 grams of protein. And then that will leave me having 50% of my calories from carbs, which will be 375 grams. All right, so this is what I'm happy with. I'm going to hit the check mark, and then I'm gonna hit the check mark again. And now I have custom calorie and macro goals. That is the one cool thing about this app. Now, you can also connect Fitbit if you want to, which I don't use a Fitbit, so I'm not going to. You can change the settings of your app so you can do the auto off function. It's defaulted to 30 seconds for the auto backlight off. You will still have to turn the scale itself off manually, but the backlight will go off after 30 seconds, and you can change that to be 45 seconds, one minute, or two minutes. So I'm gonna leave that where it is because I don't want my batteries to die faster. And then we'll go back to the scale. You can look at the scale readout on the screen here, or you can go over to diary. So kind of like my fitness pal, it has your goal for the day. So you can see right here what I said a minute ago, 3000 calories, 375 carbs, 210 protein and 73 fat. And then it has how much you've actually had today. So assuming that I ate this banana, I would have had 40 carbs, two protein, and a half a gram of fat. So you can go ahead, you have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And this is pretty cool because you buy this unit and then you have access to this app that goes straight along with it. Now, the one thing that I will say here is MyFitnessPal will do all of the things that are in this app plus some. Just a couple weeks ago, I did a video talking about how you can make your own recipes in MyFitnessPal, or you can even import recipes from the internet into MyFitnessPal, and you can log individual servings of those recipes right into the MyFitnessPal food log. So this app, which is a bit newer, so I mean, they still have some work to do. So I mean, I'll, I'll be a little bit more lenient on them since this app hasn't been around for as long, but it doesn't have the same advanced features as MyFitnessPal does. MyFitnessPal is what I recommend my clients use, and it's what I use as well during periods of time when I am tracking my nutrition. And then while it is cool having all of that detailed information pop up right here on the scale itself, it isn't necessarily super practical because you have to put the food item on the scale and then you have to go in the app and tell the app what's on the scale in order to get that readout on the scale. So at that point, you have access to the readout on your phone. So having it on the scale itself becomes a little bit redundant. So really the one advantage that you do have here is the fact of when you weigh something and then you say what's on your scale, in the app, it automatically logs that serving size. So that is a pretty cool thing. But would I recommend this scale? And the answer is really, it depends. So if you think that you would like using this fitness tracking app specifically, then yes, go ahead and purchase this scale because you'll need it to go along with that app. And it is interesting to have the readout right here on the scale while not super necessary because you will still have that readout right there on the phone. So what I would recommend is if you think you would like to use that app or you would at least like to try it, go ahead and purchase this unit because it's not necessarily that much more expensive than other food scales and you can at least decide if you do or don't want to use those smart functions. And then if you get it and you decide you don't want to use those smart functions, you still have a regular working food scale that you can still use with other apps like MyFitnessPal. And if you're watching this and you say that definitely does not sound like something that I would want to do, eTech City also offers a cheaper alternative that does not have the smart function. So that unit is $10 and it does all of the things that this unit does except for those smart functions. So it still does the liquid tracking as well as the solid food tracking and it has all of the other same functionality except for those smart features for $20 less. So if you don't think that you would use those smart features, then go ahead and get that cheaper unit that eTech City sells and you're gonna be just as happy with that one versus if you were to purchase this one. Me personally, I was already in the market for a food scale anyway because my current food scale is actually on its last legs 
and it only works when it decides it wants to work. So I am gonna continue using this, but I'm only gonna be using it as a standard food scale without the smart functions. Whichever route you decide to go, I'm gonna leave a link for the smart option as well as the non-smart option down in the description below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing, or you can check out one of the videos that are on screen. You can also check us out over on the Treadway Training Blogcast. We're there every Sunday at 3 p.m. That's treadwaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you tomorrow. Get back a little bit, lean forward. That way I'm just way too low. In this video, we're going to be talking about the E-Tech City Smart nu mm, Nutrition Scale. That's what it's called. All right. <laughs> I got time for bloopers. <laughs> uh, it's in frame. Neat. Neat. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Just not laughing.